hello guys let's look at the sub skills of speaking there are a list of uh, sub skills uh, related to speaking skills so these basic skills so macro skills lsrw have sub skills so just look at it in the previous video we looked at uh, sub skills of spe uh, listening so now sub skills of speaking so first one see first one is related to pronunciation so first one is related to pronunciation see uh, clarity in articulation articulating sounds and words right the first one is related to clarity in articulation articulating sounds and words second one fluency the ability to speak smoothly and without unnecessary pauses okay so first one clarity in articulation and second one ability to speak flu smoothly that is related to fluency without unnecessary pause and the third one is related to vocabulary the range of words used and understanding of when to use them so you know how to use and you know Uh, the time of uh, uh, the time when to use them and the fourth one related to grammar using correct sentences sentence structures and tenses while speaking using correct sentences uh, sentence structures and tenses fifth one coherence coherence is organizing ideas logically and clearly while the listener is listening he must understand a logical way of your sentences and clarity also and sixth one is interaction related thing engaging with the listener including turn taking responding appropriately so all these are related to speaking so engaging engaging with the listener including turn taking and responding appropriately and seventh one intonation variations in pitch and tone to convey meaning or emotion so you use a different uh, uh, pitch uh, that means high pitch low pitch so rising tone falling tone so this is related to speaking and pace pace means speed speed speaking at a speed that is neither too fast nor too slow for for the listener to follow so maintaining the proper speed pace stress stress emphasizing certain words or syllables to highlight meaning so use a set you so all syllables are not pronounced in the same way some syllables so one syllable in a word is given a prominence that is called word stress okay emphasizing certain syllables to highlight meaning and clarity next one is clarity speaking in a way that is easy to understand avoiding mumbling or unclear articulation so clarity must be there next confidence speaking with assurance with effects how the message is provided speaking confidently is another sub skill so active listening so listening to and responding appropriately to the other person so you have to listen and uh, actively respond so unless you listen actively you can't respond so non verbal communication so this is using body language facial expressions gesture to com complement speech etc and the final one is cultural awareness understanding and adapting to cultural nuances in communication you will understand the culture also so there are 14 uh sub skills of uh, speaking skills you guys just remember them all are related to pronunciation fluency vocabulary grammar coherence interaction intonation pace stress clarity confidence active listening non verbal communication cultural awareness etc so remember them so during your examinations they are asking so uh, which is related to which skill so they are giving some sub skills and try we we are supposed to find out what is the skill actually macro skill whether it belongs to listening speaking reading or writing okay thank you guys